And the first one and the most important one is Spotlight. Spotlight is our search technology that's built right into the core of Mac OS X Tiger. And it allows you to find anything on your system. Documents, images, uh, you know, uh, uh, appointments and calendars, things in PDF files, bookmarks, anything. Emails, contacts, you name it. And you can find it almost instantly. And the way it works <coughs> is you have a little spotlight icon up in the right hand corner there. And you click on it and you get a search field. And you type in something and you get a menu with the top hits right there. What it thinks you're looking for. But if you want to see more, you just hit return and you get the spotlight window right here. And it gives you the top five of everything if there are five. You can see the rest of things if you want. And it's incredible. And you can find, any, you can find stuff in your system you didn't even know was there. It's amazing. Now, we preview this to our developers in spring. And since then, there have been a few Spotlight wannabes that have shipped. Desktop tools. One from Google, looks like this. And one from Microsoft, the MSN search tool that looks like this. And they're great, but they're nowhere near as good as Spotlight. Now, why is that? Because when you build it in to the core OS, you can just do things that you can't do with a tool sitting over to the side. Now, how is Spotlight better than these? Well, of course, it's from Apple, so it's far nicer, and it has a much better user interface. <laughs> but it goes much deeper than that, because, because the OS can let Spotlight know when something changes, it instantly updates when things change. You don't have to run another search. You don't have to wait 10 minutes. You can be looking at a result, and it'll change right in front of you if the underlying files change, because the OS can notify Spotlight that that's happened instantly. And it means we can integrate it right into the OS and our apps. So we can put Spotlight technology right in our applications, which you can't do with a tool on the side. And our developers can build it into their apps. And we have over 100 developers building Spotlight into their apps, including developers like Microsoft. So it's fantastic. And what I'd like to do now is just show you a little bit of Spotlight. All righty. So I'm going to go get Spotlight here. Just click up here. Isn't this great? I've got a 20-inch cinema display, every single pixel up there on the screen. It's fantastic. So I'm going to say, Spotlight, I'm going to look for uh, soccer. And boom, it finds everything in my system. I've got about a quarter million files on this system here. About a quarter million files. And uh, it just went through everything. And I'm going to just uh, say, well, show all. Just show you the window. <coughs> And here's all the things it found about soccer. And I can, uh, if they're sorted over here by kind. I can sort them by date if I want to. So see all the things that uh, I've, uh, I, I've opened today, or last week, or last month. Or I sort it by people. But I'm going to keep it by kind here. And um, I'm going to go look at, as an example, an equipment price list up here in documents, the first entry. And it opened an Excel document. It found out that uh, the word soccer was inside an Excel document. And of course, it found it. Very easy. Um, I can expand the images. It says there's 167 images on soccer here. And uh, I can go look at them all if I want to. Or I can just say, no, just show me the top five. And, uh, you know, as an example, I can go down and, um, oh, let's see. Where was that? I wanted to show you an event poster. Well, let me open a PDF, a PDF uh, brochure here again. Here's a PDF brochure. It found the word soccer inside a PDF document. No problem. And uh, I can go to contacts here. And I can say, show me a contact. It'll just open it right up and show me the contact right here. I can just click on the phone number to get it nice and big. If I click on an email message, it just uh, brings up a compose window. So very, very easy to use. So let me look up something else here. Um, Bryce uh, National Park, and again, got a lot of images here if I want to see them. And uh, I can go down here to uh, PDFs and uh, see the National Park map. And again, it found Bryce right inside of a PDF document. This isn't metadata. This is actually inside the PDF document. So pretty amazing. Now what I'm going to look at, I'm just going to go, I've got 
we've got over 100,000 images on this Mac from Corbis that we got. So I'm going to just search for images, and uh, all these images are tagged with metadata right from Corbis. So I'll search for a love, and um, I'm going to get a lot of images here. I've got, oops, I didn't want to do that. I'll show you that in a minute. All righty. Yeah. I got a little bug here. <laughs> All right. Well, that's why we have backup systems here. So, great. So here we go. We're going to search for love, and we've got a lot of images here about love. And you can, of course, you know, click on any one. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I want to open this application. There we go. So here we are. We've got a lot of images about love. And I'm going to type in a sunset. Boom. And now I'm finding all these images. Let's see how many I've got. I've got uh, 38 images from Corbis. <laughs> about love and sunset, and I click on any one, and there I go. So there you have it. That's uh, finding images. Now I want to go over to the Finder. And uh, I'm going to go to the Finder here. And what we've done is we've used Spotlight technology to add um, smart folders to the Finder. So you can have a Finder that holds all your presentations like this. And it, does a, it basically uses Spotlight so that whenever you add a presentation, boom, it goes in this folder. Viewed this week. And again, everything that you've opened this week will be in this folder. And you notice we've added a spotlight view in the Finder. So I have my list view, my icon view, and now I have a spotlight view. And I can just check everything I've opened this past week will be in here, smart folder, all the time. So we've added the spotlight to the Finder. Now let me show you another place we've added it in System Preferences. This is System Preferences, and I'm going to search for something. I want to change the brightness of my screen, maybe. So I start typing in bright, and it instantly comes up with all the possibilities. And if I pick one, it'll just go right there and let me set the brightness of my screen. So I'm going to search for another one here. Album art. I heard there's something neat on album art in, the, in preferences. And sure enough, it finds iTunes, album, uh, iTunes artwork screensaver. So let's go there. And we've added a screensaver uh, for, um, uh, let's see, iTunes artwork right here. So let me go test that. And it just goes and finds all your albums, artwork there, and it just makes a screensaver out of them. Very simple. But the point is, yeah, we've added Spotlight to the Finder, to Preferences, and to other apps that we'll see in just a minute. So that is a quick demo of Spotlight.